up, y'all? What's good? What's poppin'? It's your girl, Miss 3D Live, Coach Tasha. Tasha Matt, Tasha Cobbs on a good day, but not Tasha Gay. What's up with y'all? I'm back with another video. So, y'all know I had to come with y'all with this video. Lord Kevin Gates has striked again. And he is with, he is on Miss Carisha, please. Lord, my God, today. How did they get these two people together? I don't know. But, baby, I was clutching my pearls the whole time I was watching this video. <laughs> <laughs> and I was cracking up too. And I, I went through so many different emotions through this video. It was it was a great interview. I never seen Miami be so speechless and tongue tied. Now we already know Miami can be a little tongue tied. We know we can't understand a lot of stuff that she be saying. But baby, she was she was very speechless as at points in, in this interview. So it was it was real nice to see another side of her too. And they was flirting a little bit, you know, I got, I got that, I don't talk about that thing, but I got that, got that, so, but yeah, so we want to begin by, you know, Gates was talking about, Kevin Gates was talking about his mental health and just things he had been going through and stuff like that and how at one point he had prepared, you know, his end of life or whatever and um he uh, pretty much did everything he wanted to do that day and stuff and just so happened a fan had came up to him and told him how much he loved his music and he saved him from you know drug abuse and dying and so that that helped him out and you know he had already been kind of going on a spiritual journey he talked about that talked about you know how he's a a chief on his mama's side so apparently his mama is an indian and apparently he is a chief so he is a um you know half uh indian chief or whatever so he was talking about that you know talking about his heritage and stuff like that and he also you know was just you know of course the, the interview started after the mental part and stuff. And I just want to say this. I, I love how transparent he was and how he was really just giving the people like, look, this will be on my mind. I know y'all, you, you know, just cutthroat uncensored. And so I, I absolutely love that because people don't understand with depression. Sometimes that's how you feel. You know what I'm saying? That's just how as stuff just be. And it's just how it is. So I just really thank him for being so vulnerable and transparent. Love me some Kevin Gates baby so of course y'all know we got to get into the grimy part most of the, <laughs> of the interview was pretty grimy because he was kind of like to me throwing shots at Miami you know what I'm saying just you know just kind of telling him telling her what he would do and how he acted and this and that or whatever whatever so he had said on the part or whatever he was explaining to Carisha how he get down with like how he like to have sex with girls, like he pretty much can tell by a woman, like he knows she she knows she clean and he can do whatever to her. You know what I'm saying? Just whatever. And so uh, Miami was like, you know, have you had any type of experiences where you know the woman wasn't, you know, the woman wasn't clean? And he was like, well, yeah, you know, I had one situation where I had to swipe, I swiped down there and and put it up to her nose and was like, you want me to eat this, baby? I died laughing. I died laughing. That shit was so funny, baby. But he was he was so serious though. But yeah, it was it was crazy. That was crazy. So and then he spoke about, you know what I'm saying, just some weird shit. You know, Kevin, y'all know Kevin Gates be. I ain't gonna say weird. He just be on his own collective stuff. And apparently he he said he started the car with uh with his hands. Apparently, with the energy from his hands and God, he he started the car. So, okay, I'm just gonna, you know, I just, I just, just wanted to put it out there. That's what he said. If he said he did it, then damn it, he did it. Okay, in the name of Jesus. Anywho, um, so yeah, he was just they was talking about other little stuff or whatever. Talking about he like having sex outside because of the nature and how it make him feel and all that stuff like that. And he was just um. And so we got into the real juicy part, okay? So the part that y'all came for, baby. He was talking about he he didn't he didn't yeah he fucked his cousin he fucked his cousin. So I, I, the conversation was so crazy. I was just but pretty much he explained that you know he had met this girl he was vibing with this girl you know what I'm saying they was you know 
they was pretty much at it. They was they was going at it. They was going strong, period. You know what I'm saying? And so he had took her to go meet his grandma. And his grandma was asking her, like, baby, who is your people? And, you know, she was telling her and this and that. And she, her, his grandma pulled him to the side and said, baby, that's your cousin. And he was like, uh, so? <laughs> At this point, when we been, we been getting down at this point, I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> he was like, but apparently it's like a third or fourth cousin like that. I, I, I don't know. But, that, of course, you know, as most people in black families know back in the day in the South and really in the North, too, people had a lot of kids. You know what I'm saying? They was known to have about 22 kids. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, especially the men. So, yeah. But he pretty much was like, yeah, they kept going and they still cool to this day and this and that. He even told me, well, you probably didn't mess with a couple of your cousins and don't even know. But he was like, nah, nah. <laughs> She ever, she ever ever pushed that shit off on him, but, but yeah, you know, and so she, you know, Miami gonna ask them questions. That's why I like Miami. Miami gonna ask them questions that everybody asks. So she was like, so what's up with you and Drinker? Are y'all, are y'all together? Are y'all separated? What y'all got going on? You know what I'm saying? And so he was just pretty much explaining like, you know, Drinker goes, is gonna always be his, that's his best friend. She gonna always be there. He gonna always be there for her. You know what I'm saying? And that's just that on that. And she was like, well, you was, you said that she was cheating. He was like, nah, I never said that. You know what I'm saying? I was just expressing other, you know, expressing things or whatever. He was like, but I always protect her. I never make her look bad. I never, you know, anything happened to her. You know, he like pretty much period. I'm going to jail. You know what I'm saying? Don't need to put no, put his hands on him. He already know. They might, they already know they need to send my money on my books because I'm coming. I was like, man, that's real ass shit. He, and he was not playing. So, and again, like I stated earlier up in the conversation, him and my, him in Miami was flirting. Baby, they was flirting big time. Do you hear me? They was flirting. I, Miami was blushing and stuff. You know what I'm saying? They was throwing little vibes and little slick shots at each other. Well, he was at, at her. You know what I'm saying? And... I mean, it was cute to see kind of Miami in a different mode or whatever. She was, you know, kind of in her feminine mode. She was, you know, doing Miami, but she wasn't. She she asked some really good questions. She let him talk. Miami did a really good job on this video, on this interview. I, I'm glad she I'm glad she opened up with with Diddy. So I guess it can make her comfortable or whatever. But it's nice to see her. You know what I'm saying? Interview somebody that she really don't know no like that. You know what I'm saying? So she did really good. Really, really good. So and again, I I love Gates uh transparency. I mean, the interview was was great. You know what I'm saying? It was just it was real great. And he pretty much just told us like that he was an example of how you can be reckless and you know, from what the society wants you to be. And he, he tell you the whole hearty truth. You know what I'm saying? He don't give a fuck how grimy it is. He don't care how it make you feel. This is, this is, this is it. This is my truth. This is it. So again, he is unapologetically real and don't give two fucks. And both of them are like that. You know what I'm saying? So to see both of them kind of relate on that level, they both Aquarius. So it, it definitely was, it was a great interview. So of course, Kevin had me cracking up the whole time. You know, he was, he was serious, but he was also funny. And, and it was just a really good interview. It, it made me look at him in a different light in a sense of, I've heard some of the stuff that he said in these, in the interview, but he, he, addressed it different it was just a different feel with Miami it seemed like it was you know real real so but yeah y'all just wanted to come y'all with this good old video Carisha please come on Carisha girl you better come on with these good ass interviews I wonder what wonder who she finna interview next so we gonna make sure we keep on it because we want to make sure you know what I'm saying we keep watching Carisha and she already got 2.4 million views on there and the video ain't been up but two days you know what I'm saying so that's what's up. I'm 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 loving how, you know, what what Carisha got going on, you know, outside of my you know, outside of the city girls. And just 
you know, elevating her stuff. You know what I'm saying? She could show him she could be a business woman. She could be ratchet too, period. But anywho, y'all just, y'all already know what I want to tell y'all. I really need y'all to help me out with the subscriptions. I'm trying to get to a thousand, of course. I really need y'all to like, comment, and subscribe. Please share the video. Watch the video. We doing good on watch time too. So I appreciate people for um, my returning viewers for coming back and watching the videos. Man, y'all are so awesome. Y'all, y'all really rock. I really appreciate y'all. So again, y'all tell me how uh, what y'all think in the um, comments at the bottom of the video. And again, I hope you guys have a great day. And again, I'm out this piece. Peace out.